What's going on gamers? My name is John with GameStore81.com and welcome back to another product review. In this episode, I'm going to be reviewing one of Hyperkin's latest products and that is the Game Genie, or their version of the Game Genie anyway. Now Hyperkin is a pretty cool company. They make a lot of cool retro products along with a lot of cool modern day uh, peripherals for modern day consoles. Uh, some of the retro products they introduced was the Superboy, which is a portable Super Nintendo. I did a review of that. They also make the Retron 3, which is basically a a uh, clone console which plays NES games, Super Nintendo games, and Genesis games in one. They also have a Retron 3 which plays NES games and Super Nintendo games in one. So it's pretty cool that they're bringing Retro back, which is awesome. But this device is for the PlayStation 3. Now they also make a Game Genie for the DS as well. Now if you guys aren't familiar with Game Genie, uh, the Game Genie was introduced initially by Galoob. It was a product available for Retro consoles including, you know, the NES, the Genesis, the Super Nintendo, among other handhelds and consoles. In fact, I had a Game Genie for the Game Boy growing up as well. Uh, what it enabled the gamer to do was basically plug in the cart to the, the adapter and you could it, they provide access codes or cheat codes and you put that cheat code into the menu board and then it would allow you to change the game. So you have unlimited lives, you can pick a level, you can have unlimited weapons, unlock all these really cool things because a lot of these retro games were very, very challenging and it changed the whole dynamic of the game. It was a very, very popular line by Galoob and Nintendo, of course, wasn't very excited that it was out there, but still a lot of people ended up buying them. It spread off other companies, including GameShark, which did very, very similar things. But Hyperkin decided that, you know what, let's make this for modern day consoles as well. So as I mentioned before, this is a review over the PlayStation 3 version of the Game Genie. This retails for $29.99. The DS version retails for $19.99. You can get it at their website, hyperkin.com. You can also find it on Amazon, eBay. I'm sure if you just Google search it, it's available anywhere. Uh, online. And so basically what it is, it's a portable USB drive. And what you do is you plug it into your PC. It's not currently compatible with Mac computers. And there you can go on to their website, thegamegenie.com. On there, they update lists every week and usually they come out with a new cheat code uh, every Friday. Although I encourage you guys to check out their Facebook, their Twitter. I'll put those links below. I'll put a link to their website as well, thegamegenie.com. There's a really cool forum on there where people can actually request cheats for, for games that are coming out. They got a really wide variety of games currently available for that are compatible for the Game Genie. And so what you want to do is you basically go and you can save on save the cheat to this USB and you can plug into your PlayStation 3 and, and change and adjust your PlayStation 3 save file. So I'm going to kind of explain and step that through. Now there's a first step you need to actually change your put your save file onto the USB drive and go from there. It's pretty cool, it's a very cool device. It's very easy to catch on. I think any gamer could really get the hang of it. Now I do want to make it very clear, and I know I know Haberkin wants to make it very clear, that the Game Genie, it does not work with games that are multiplayer online, so it's not gonna affect, it's not gonna give you an unfair advantage for playing online. For example, Call of Duty games will not be available for the Game Genie, because that just wouldn't be fair if you're playing online. Another thing is if you're playing with the Game Genie codes, a lot of the trophies may not be unlockable. I think that's fair. Uh, so there are some trophies you can still unlock with the codes and cheats, but for the most part, uh, a lot of them are not available, which I think is a pretty fair thing as well. Well, guys, I'm also curious of a couple things. I'm curious what you guys think about the Game Genie for the PlayStation 3. I'm, I'm curious if what games you think should be available on the list that you maybe you'd like to see cheats for. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment below. And without any further ado, let's take a closer look. The first step is very easy. You want to take out of the box, and here's the box itself. Got a nice window, I like the pack design, it's very cool. One thing I like about this though also, it's very easy to unbox. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting scissors, it's just right there. You can grab the USB drive. And what you wanna do is you plug the USB drive directly into your PC. Now if your Mac, and I said before, it doesn't work on Mac, but if your Mac runs Windows, it will work if you have Windows on your Mac. Now these devices are also set up to only work on two PCs. Uh, so basically the reason they, that Hyperkin does that is so to allow piracy reasons issues where people sharing them and, and people taking advantage of it. So they will work on two PCs. So let's plug this in and right away it should detect that the drive is there. You simply want to install from there. Plug it in. Right away. Okay, click. Open up. Click on the setup, download the latest version, prepare and install, you go to next, you have to read all this, or you can just do what I do and accept, and, but now you probably should read it, but whatever. 
Uh, and then uh, it goes to the save file. Begin install. So that was it. Install was very, very simple. As you can see, you don't need any hardware. You just plug the USB drive directly into your PC. Now the next step is I'm going to take the USB drive, plug it into my PlayStation 3. I'm going to find a game file for a game that I want to add a cheat to and then copy that game file over to the USB drive. So now I just plugged in the Game Genie USB drive into my PlayStation 3. Uh, it's in there because it's red. There's a red light indicator light that shows it's, in, it's plugged in. And then I want to go over to my game file. So now I, I go to my game file, save data utility. I find the game that I want to find a cheat for. And there's a li laundry list of games on thegamegenie.com. Yeah, I encourage you guys to go check it out. Like I said, they're adding new games every week. They have over 100 games right now. Let's go to, I want to go to uh, Mortal Kombat. Press triangle and copy. Select destination, USB drive. And all it does is going to copy all my game save file to the USB drive. It takes several seconds, you can see here. Complete. Next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take the USB drive, plug it back into the PC. So I'm back at my PC. Plug the USB drive now back into the PC, and I want to open up the program. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I just opened up the program, and automatically, there's a game list on the left here, but automatically detects I have Mortal Kombat on the USB, saved into the USB. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to get, oh, there's two codes available. You can max crypt coins, or you can unlock all characters and costumes. I'm going to, I'm going to check on both, and I'm going to apply. The safe on the select USB is about to be overwritten. Yes, I'm going to proceed. Updating save. Downloading save. Cheat successfully applied. Look how quick that was. Very, very simple. Now the next step is to obviously go back and plug the USB drive back into the PlayStation 3 system. And then I'm going to copy and move the file over. We're going to see if this actually works. And here, let's go to the game list here. And show all. These are all the different games available in case you guys are curious. All alphabetical order. You can see Assassin's Creed 3 is already on there. Um, so it's pretty cool. Batman Arkham Asylum. Final Fantasy. All the classics. So Ninja Gaiden. Soul Calibur. Splatterhouse. Uncharted 2 and 3. Ult uh, Ultimate Marvels vs. Capcom 3. Although, again, if you're playing online, it's not, the cheat's not available if you're fighting players online, obviously. So let's go back to the, the system and see if this actually worked. Okay, so now I'm back at my main menu here, uh, and I want to open up Save Data Utility. Go to uh, USB Drive. And do Copy. There's a Save Data, the same name. And go to Yes. Overwrite. Copy complete. Let's open the game and see if actually I have all the unlockable characters and costumes. So check it out. Okay, and I can assure you guys, I promised you before, I have not unlocked all the hidden characters and all that. So let's see what what I have see here. At the very bottom of Quan Chi and Cyber Sub Zero, I have not unlocked them previously. So that's pretty quick. I can now I can now play as them. So the cheat did work. That's pretty cool. You will serve me in another round. Round one. Fight. So now I'm at the crypt area, and now you can see how many coins I have. I have almost 100 million coins. So I can pretty much unlock anything I want, which is pretty sweet. I can purchase anything I want. So you can see the codes, the cheats did indeed work. Well, in conclusion, the Game Genie by Hyperkin is very user friendly. It's very easy to catch on and understand. I believe the $30 price point is about right for this particular product. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I, I wish it was compatible with Mac as well. Um, you know, since I'm more of a Mac user, I know there's a lot more Mac users out there as well. 
Uh, but perhaps Hyperkin will uh, address that issue in future products or perhaps create one that is compatible with Mac as well. But nevertheless, I do recommend this. Uh, I think it's great that uh, it doesn't give you a, a competitive advantage uh, over online play. I think that's very smart of Hyperkin. Also, one other thing I want to mention in this review is it does have some extra bonus features as well. You can use this as to share save files between fellow PS3 users, which is really neat. Uh, you also, there's an uh, advanced settings as well uh, where you can go and look at the code and, and change around, mess around with it for advanced users, so to speak. I didn't really go through that because it's pretty advanced, uh, but you can actually uh, change a save file and kind of mess around with it for that, which is kind of neat, but it's cool that it has that nice feature as well. So you can use this USB drive to share uh, save files and bring it to your buddy's PlayStation 3. So that's kind of a nice bonus feature as well. I encourage you guys, if you guys want to find out more about the Game Genie uh, product by Hyperkin, go follow them on their YouTube channel, Twitter, Facebook. That's where they announce upcoming games and cheats for those games. Also go to thegamegenie.com and that has a complete list of current games and cheats that are available. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I'm curious what you guys' thoughts about this particular product by Hyperkin are. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. As always, we'll see you guys soon. Take care.